Thomas Hyde is one of the more interesting characters to emerge from the Civil War. His life after the war is almost as notable as his life during the war. He goes on to found Bath Ironworks, serves in the Maine legislature, very interesting guy. But during the war, he really makes a name for himself. He's born in Bath, his relatives obviously had something to do with the high school, but as he serves, he enters in as one of the officers of the 7th Maine Infantry and finds himself, particularly at the Battle of Antietam, in a very difficult spot. Antietam is, is not going well. And in the middle of the afternoon, pretty much when the battle had been shifted over to another area of the, of the field, one of the Union generals comes up to, to Hyde and tells him that he must take the 7th Maine charge across an open field, a little bit of an orchard, because there are some rebel pickets out there, sharpshooters, snipers kind of thing, and they're bothering this general. He doesn't like it. Well, this is alongside the sunken road, which is one of complete carnage during the Battle of Antietam. Dead men are just stacked in this road. There's no place to go. You can't avoid them. And he actually has to ride his horse over them to enter this field. He is so taken by the, the lunacy of the order that he receives that he forces the general to repeat it because he wanted everybody around him to hear it so they wouldn't come back on him. He understood his, his duty as an officer to follow the orders of, a, of somebody in a superior position, but he didn't want to go and he didn't want to submit his men to what he thought was a very perilous situation. He wasn't alone in that. The entire Vermont Infantry Regiment that was right next to the 7th Maine looked at these guys and said, don't do it. And if you go, you're not coming back. With that, Hyde had the second order come in. It was repeated to him. And he orders his men to go forward. They charge small slope into the orchard and they start receiving obviously the fire from the Confederates. It's deadly fire and it makes no sense and the Confederates started to loop around him a little bit so that he was on a peninsula and they were doing enfilading fire, very effective, very devastating, ruinous and he's going this is nuts. So he orders the retreat. He's cut off from making the retreat. He has to be saved by his own soldiers who braved you know, the Confederate interference between themselves and Hyde. And they were able to grab his horse reins and, and push him, pull him back behind the Union lines, which was stunning to the Green Mountain guys from Vermont. They didn't think any of these guys would come back. Hyde had so distinguished himself in the charge and in rallying his troops and in staying there and trying to make essentially lemonade out of a very tart lemon that he was later awarded the Medal of Honor for his conspicuous bravery in that attack. Thanks for watching. And don't miss a single episode as we delve into the fascinating history of Maine's role in the Civil War. Please like and subscribe now